From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Well, hopefully you got out to enjoy it. Our first taste of summer temperatures, the warmest that they've been so far this year, the warmest they've been in 223 days. But who's counting? It hasn't been this warm since the first week of October and well above average into the 80s, well into the 80s for places like Ontario, 87 degrees for our high so far today. And we have the heat. We have the ingredients necessary to see some of these storms bubbling up. And some of these storms could reach strong to even perhaps severe criteria, as I mentioned before. Most of that activity has been through eastern Oregon. Some of this trying to make its way out of the Owyhees, not really making it very far as it tries to pass into the valley. It's possible you get a quick downpour. Maybe you hear a distant rumble of thunder. You get some gusty wind moving through your neighborhood here in the Treasure Valley. But I think that threat for more of those strong to severe storms will be to the north of our region, up through the West Central Mountains, and even more north of there as you get towards Riggins and into Lewiston. That's where we would potentially see the severe storms and severe criteria being the strong, gusty, damaging wind of at least 58 miles per hour, large hail of at least one inch in diameter. If we see either of these things, the National Weather Service will issue a severe thunderstorm warning, which of course means take cover now. If any of those watches or warnings are issued for the region, of course, we will update you on air and, on, and online. So uh, you can download our interactive radar at KTVB.com, see what's rolling into your neighborhood, and also keep an eye on social media because we'll be keeping you posted as we head through the rest of this evening. So watching this future cast here, you see what I mean when I say most of that storm activity looks most likely to stay north of our area, up through Lewiston, up through Baker City, up through Pendleton. And then once the sun goes down, you lose that heat of the day and you lose the potential for those storms to become strong or severe. So the threat has passed us by about 8 or 9 p.m. tonight. Our highs today again so far have reached these levels. They will be updated for the official numbers at 6 p.m. So check in with us again tonight at 10 p.m. If you want to know officially what that high temperature was. And it was almost as if somebody had just a blow dryer, warm air just pumping on us throughout the day. I was honestly surprised to see that our gusts really only got up to about 25 to 30 miles per hour. But it was a very gusty, active wind throughout the better part of the day today. Not necessarily a bounce house day, but maybe a kite flying day and a pool in the backyard kind of day. At least that's what it was in my house. We still have breezy conditions, so if you're planning an evening cookout, watch the napkins, the paper plates from flying away. Our highs tomorrow cooler than today, but still above average for this time of year. This front that's rolling through this evening, it's not going to knock temperatures back a whole lot. And so we're still looking at spring 70s for the day tomorrow. All things considered a really nice day. Light breeze out of the northwest into the afternoon with our highs in the Treasure Valley in the mid to upper 70s and even close to 80 degrees for some of the warmer spots. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. The cooler than average temperatures are back in the picture for us by the time we make it into Thursday. And I think that'll be, you know, weather whiplash, as I've heard it called, where <laughs> we turn around and we think, OK, so that was it. That was summer. And now it's back to spring or sprinter or summer, winter, or I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I saw the meme. It says it's May. It may rain. It may snow. It may hail. It may storm. It may be really hot. Yeah, just wear your sunscreen. But today was the hottest day, the warmest day of the year so far. Warmest day of the year so far, but right. you know that eventually, uh, probably too soon, we'll be up to triple digits. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. We can always expect that streak of hundreds. Yes, you can. <laughs> All right, thanks, Bree.